This is part two of a two-part series on how to use tarheelgameplay.org at home. It's a tool designed for speech pathologists to help elicit language. It's free and pretty simple to use. This is the more advanced video. This video covers how to build confidence by allowing choices, giving control, building preferences, adding reinforcers, strengthening expressive language, and working on switch fluency. It also goes into more advanced techniques and tools and how to use this website. Check it out. I like it. Little baby bum. What is this? Five little ducks? Next song? Next song? Mm, I like it. Next song? That's what I want. Next song. All right, let's skip forward in the video to the next song. All right, so this is part two of Tar Heel Gameplay. Um, this is a little bit more advanced than what we did last time. So try to stick with me through this. So basically, you know, once you create these um, videos for yourself, remember you can keep this forever. So putting in a little bit of work in the beginning will really help you in the long run. This is, um, you know, the very, very famous video that we all turn to in times of crisis, the uh, baby, little baby bum nursery rhyme songs. Um, it just goes through like every single nursery rhyme you could think of um, and it's free. So basically I copied the, URL on YouTube right here. I brought it over into um, tarheelgameplay.org um, slash create. Let me make sure I copied it actually. I'm gonna use the advanced tab today. So I'm gonna click on advanced. I'm gonna paste in the video load. Here we go. So one, oh, why is it starting so early? Once it shows me that there's about to be a new video, I'm gonna add a pause. So let's watch. Five little ducks. Oh, look. Add a pause. Let me just pause the video one sec so I can talk. So the choice at six one is when five little five little ducks came on is well, you could ha however you want to do it. I'm just gonna do I like it for my particular kid I'm working with, and that will the action will be to continue that video. Or there's a little plus here. I'm gonna put in next song. And that will jump to a different part of the video. Now, I, I'm, I'm going to try to get this precisely here. So I'm going to just drag this over here so I can see where the next video starts. The next one is, ah, here it is, Wheels on the Bus at 2 minutes and 13 seconds. This only corresponds to seconds. So 2 minutes and 13 seconds is 133 seconds. So 133 seconds. Now, you can keep doing this where you're playing and adding a pause, playing and adding a pause until you get the whole video down. Um, but that's just kind of what it looks like. And then let's just show, let's show what it looks like. So let's go back to play. So now it's gonna load. Now remember, this is your unique URL here, so don't lose this. Okay, so let's, let's start. It always starts like this, so let's go. I like it, let's go. Kind of shows you the two choices that you're gonna have throughout it. Oh, five little ducks. Oh, next. So do we like five little ducks? So we have next song or I like it. What do you think, Sarah? Next song, I like it. Use your switch, use your voice, use your packs, whatever you're using. Next song, oh, that's what you want? Now it'll click forward to um, wheels on, uh, the wheels in the bus song. This is great for you guys um, to help kids you know, low pressure, learn language, learn switch use, learn expressive language um, through a really fun environment. And don't forget, you could keep these URLs in your um, Tar Heel gameplay account. I showed on the video one how to do that, or you can just keep it on a spreadsheet for yourself. All right, so that is the more advanced option um, in how to use this as a language opportunity. Now there's a bonus I wanted to go over it with you today, which is the precise tab. So if you click on precise, I'm going to add, the, um, let's do Pete the Cat. I mean, come on, Pete the Cat. We love Pete the Cat. So we're going to use, uh, in this example, we're going to take the video and we're going to use the video to help us with a core word phrase. And the core word phrase is, goodness, no. I mean, technically the only word that's core and there's no, and that's like an even borderline. So we're just going to call this an emergent, um, an expressive user. Um, Emergent and expressive language activity for our user. Okay, so I'm going to copy the URL of Pete the Cat. Let me start from the beginning. Yeah, Pete the Cat. Okay, we love his white show. I think everyone on the planet knows the song. 
So I'm going to precise again. I'm going to paste the URL in here, load. Okay. So basically now what I'm going to do is just play the video and then right before it, you know, Pete's, you know, they say, goodness, no, I'm going to pause, right? So I know the first one happens pretty early on. It's like right around here. Okay. Okay, expressive language. So I'm gonna, you know, the phrase we're gonna work on is goodness no. So I'm gonna add a pause right here, add a pause right here, and then the prompt is goodness, oh, goodness no. So then we're gonna keep that going. Where's the next one where he says goodness no? It's around here somewhere. Pete stepped in a large pile of did Pete cry? Add a pause. Same one. So now, if you were to play this um, video again, you could just press play. And then every time it hits those markers, let me fast forward up a little bit, it'll say, goodness, no. Goodness, no. Did Pete cry? You say, goodness, no. Or maybe you just want to have the word no or whatever you're working on. But there's so many ways to do this, and it's really flexible. And don't forget, you can save your URLs again to use across all students. Um, and you could also like, let's say you're working on like questions, you could put questions in here. Um, you could put colors in here. What color did it turn to shoes? So many different ways you could use this. It's totally free. And the best part of it, in my opinion, is that it just makes it easy for us. It removes all the ads and makes learning fun. So use what you got, you know, and I hope this helped you. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, all right, everybody. Bye. If you like this video and this is something that's helpful to you, please feel free to leave comments. That way we can know what types of videos to make in the future and how it helps you in speech therapy. Have a great one.